Welcome to Crafty Chemist Designs. Today, I am going to do a walkthrough of the April, May, June, 2023 Close to My Heart catalog. Take a look at this cover. I really love the colors and the design of the cards that are there. Inside, um, there is a note from Jeanette, the founder and CEO. There's also information about becoming a Close to My Heart maker and a Close to My Heart VIP. Close to My Heart has a Craft with Heart card making kit where you can receive a new card making kit every four months or 12 months with a subscription. We also have a Craft with Heart scrapbooking kit where you can get um, layout kits mailed to you every four months or 12 months. Let's take a look at the first collection in the catalog. It is called Cosette, and it is such a beautiful, soft design. It is absolutely amazing. The colors in this collection are Desert Rose, Papaya, Peach, Mulberry, Mist, Seabrook, Pine, Honey Butter, Toffee, White Daisy, French Vanilla, and Black. Let's take a look at the papers. The papers, you get six sheets to each of those three double-sided designs. They're 12 by 12, and you can get them with or without the sticker sheet, but I guarantee you, you are going to want this sticker sheet. Let's take a close-up look. This first paper has an overall sort of floral and butterfly designs, and then on the back has some, like, stamped, they're actual stamps uh, images. This one is a pink sort of stripe design, and the back is a pine diamond design with some leaves inside. And then the last paper is uh, the blue color with a leaf design, and then the reverse side has yellow flowers and green stems. So soft and beautiful. This is the sticker sheet. I have used a couple to make my samples, but you get the idea about this. Um, sort of some old school vintage. You have the typewriter and um, some beautiful florals. Now let's take a look at the coordinating cardstock. With the coordinating cardstock, you get 12 sheets to each of uh, those six colors. And let's take a look at them all together. It's, it's a really beautiful combination of colors you get um, two of French vanilla, toffee, honey butter, pine, mist, and mulberry. Remember our paper is two-sided. I'm showing the dark side, um, but I did flip it over so you can see the lighter side. We also have the cassette die cuts, and you get one sheet of coordinated uh, printed paperboard die cuts. So it's paperboard. And there's this beautiful vintage um, look to uh, the die cuts. Sort of like a newspaper uh, overlay. I'm showing you the back so you can kind of see what the designs are. There's some hearts, there's some stamps. Here we've got a frame, but I want you to see how thin these paper boards are. So it is thicker than our cardstock, but it is not as thick as, um, say, cardboard. Um, or the acrylic shapes, it's, it really is very thin. So it does add dimension to your paper without being too thick. Now let's take a look at the cassette digital art. You can cut a variety of shapes that coordinate with the cassette papers. And then we also have the cassette Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards featuring unique designs, sentiments, and icons. You get 12 each of 4x6 and 3x4. I really love the digital designs. I love the layout and the cards. And then there's a couple sentiments. This is our story and remember. Here's a sample I made with some of the cassette papers. Um, you can see the, the printed paper on the left there, some of the coordinating cardstock. Right there is that uh, paperboard die cut. And then the together is a sticker from the sticker sheet.
Okay, let's flip the page and take a look at the cassette card making stamp. You can get this with or without the thin cuts, but this is one that you definitely are going to want the thin cuts because the thin cuts are the shapes, the sort of rounded arch and the oval. So I really recommend getting it with the thin cuts, but you also get the thin cuts that cut out the flowers, which is um, what normally are thin cuts with these stamp sets um, do. But you see those two shape thin cuts that you get with this collection, it's really worth getting it with um, the thin cuts this time. I've made a couple samples. There's one I stamped, colored in the images with the tri blend markers and then cut them out. This one, I made a shaker card, and inside the shaker is the um, stamped florals from the cassette um, card making set. And then the last one is a um, sort of a, I'm trying to think of the name of, of the card, but um, it's a design that I'm going to probably do a live um, regarding. This is the cassette scrapbooking stamp and thin cuts. Again, you can get this one with or without the thin cuts. This is the uh, cassette scrapbooking workshop. You get all of the materials that you need to make those three coordinating 12 by 12 two page layouts. You get the cassette paper pack and sticker sheet, four cardstock sheets, three exclusive pattern paper sheets, three exclusive die cut sheets, one cassette die cuts, and four top loading uh, memory protectors if you choose. Now this is the card making workshop. And I really love those um, bows. So this is a really nice set to purchase to not only go with the cassette papers, but that bow you can use so many times. You can use it for birthday cards. You can use it for Christmas cards. You get everything you need to create 16 cards for each of those four designs that I showed you. You get the coordinating cardstock, the papers, you get the um, paperboard die cuts, and you get all of the cards that you need to make all of the cards and envelopes that you need um, to make these cards. Okay, let's look at the second collection in this catalog. It is called Hey Handsome. I know so many of you were um, screaming for some more masculine designed layouts, and so here you go. The Hey Handsome has um, the following colors, Harbor, rose, Rosemary, Pine, Paprika, Mink, white daisy in black. Let's take a look at the paper pack and the sticker sheet. And in the paper pack, like always, you get six sheets, two each of three double-sided designs. They are 12 by 12 papers with a zip strip, and you can choose to get it with or without the sticker sheet. So here are the three um, papers that you get. This one has um, sort of an overall icon design and on the reverse is a paprika cover with some um, fun words. Here, this is, I want to say like a tweed design. It's uh, black and a sort of mink color. And then the reverse is uh, some stripes that are paprika and black. And then the third paper has um, some diamonds with circles inside and then the reverse is this amazing plaid. I really love this plaid. And then here is the sticker sheet. I have used a couple for my samples but I really like some of the sayings here. I like the the flags and I just want to show you that this is the sticker sheet. I like the top hat. I like the glasses. So many fun little icons. Um, there is a coordinating cardstock set that goes with this. They've Close to My Heart has curated some amazing cardstock to go with it. You get 12 sheets to each of um, these different colors here. Look at them all together. 
I can just see this being used for so many things. Now the colors are black, white, mink, paprika, pine, and harbor. Again, our two-sided cardstock, you can see the lighter colors on the back. There is also a Hey Handsome acrylic shapes. You get assorted acrylic shapes in matte black. The images range from about 3 eighths of an inch to two and three fourths of an inch. Let me show you a few of these. Oh, look at that mustache. Um, but again, you can see how thin these are. These are much thinner than our acrylic shapes used to be. I love the top hat. There's some glasses, uh, an arrow. So one side is a little bit shiny and the other side is matte. So you can decide which side you want to use. And there's one in here that I really wanted to pull out because it's kind of unique. This one is the tie. Um, and so you have sort of a, a darker color and then a sort of a, I don't want to say it's scratched out, a lighter color inside. Let's take a look at the Hey Handsome Digital Art Collection. These tools are a must have and the glasses. Um, I love my boys, Hey Handsome. That card with the honeycomb background is amazing. We also have the Hey Handsome Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards featuring unique design, sentiments, and icons. You get 12 each of the four by six and three by four. Not all designs are shown. Now here is my sample that I created with the Hey Handsome paper pack and sticker sheet and the acrylics. So you can see the acrylic shapes on um, the layout. It's not very thick. That Just Remarkable is a sticker from the sticker sheet. Okay, let's see what else we have in this collection. On the next page, we have the Hey Handsome card making stamp set. This one does not come with um, any thin cuts, but it's great for Father's Day. And the Hey Handsome scrapbooking stamp set has some really beautiful big icons. Looking good, fresh humor served daily, all the dad jokes, you know. There's also a scrapbooking workshop kit. You get everything you need to um, create these three coordinating 12 by 12 two-page layouts. And they really can be used for, for anything based on the color. In the kit, you get the Hey Handsome paper pack and sticker sheet, some cardstock sheets, exclusive pattern paper, two exclusive die cut sheets, one exclusive black acrylic shapes and um, you can get it with or without the 12 by 12 top loading memory protectors there is also a card making workshop and this card making workshop is amazing these cards are so good i've i've been kind of holding off getting a lot of the card making workshop kits this one i did not hesitate to buy right away look at those thin cuts you've got the glasses a pen um, buttons and a pocket. I can just see so many things um, being made with that. In this card making workshop, you get everything you need to make 16 cards for each of those four designs. You get the uh, Hey Handsome pattern paper sheets. You get five card stock sheets. Um, you get the gold glitter gems and all of the cards and envelopes you need to make the 16 cards plus the stamp set and the thin cuts. I've made uh, one of each of these samples, so let's take a look at these. Remember that our workshop kits come with printed instructions that not only have the cutting diagrams for how to cut all of your paper, but also the step-by-step -step directions on how to create the cards that are listed. Our printed directions are so amazing and they come with all of the kits. Here's a close up of the stamp set. Everything that is has a blue background there is um, comes with a thin cut. Here are the cards and envelopes that you get with the workshop kit. And then you also get the gold glitter gems. You can never have too many of those. 
And then again, here are the samples that I made of the four cards. Here's the first one. You're a pretty cool dad. And look at those buttons. Those buttons are from the thin cut buttons. And did you see the little handkerchief behind the pocket? Now this one says, happy birthday, dude. And these uh, buttons were stamped on there. And then this is my favorite of all of them. It's the, I just really love you. Um, it's like a pair of jeans, like a pair of Levi's specifically, because it's got that cute little orange tag. Is that not adorable? And then the last one is this beautiful shirt front um, with the pocket and you have the glasses hanging off of the pocket. You've got the pen in your pocket. Really, really cute. But again, like I said, it d doesn't have to be masculine. This is a card that I tried to make to show you that you can um, use the same die cuts and make a more feminine card. So don't, you know, think outside of the box of how this can be used. Okay, and the third collection in this catalog is called Hello Darling, or Darlin, excuse me, it's Darlin. And this is the June collection of the month. And um, you can see it's very patriotic. You can use this for Memorial Day or 4th of July. The colors are Scarlet, Candy Apple, Sapphire, Sage, and White Daisy. Look at how fun those papers are and those cards. Okay, let's take a look at the paper pack. The Hello Darling paper pack comes with or without the sticker sheet. You get six sheets to each of those three double-sided designs. Let's take a closer look at the papers. Here they are, and what fun they are. Um, these really abstract designs, I love this. I love the little, um, they're not really fireworks, they're like circles. This is my favorite though. It's the overall floral pattern. Here you have a red background, um, the candy apple background with some stars. And then here's a plaid and it is red, white, and blue plaid. I'm hoping you can see the red, white, and blue showing up. This one has um, like an overall repeating stars uh, pattern. It almost looks like this the Chicago star. And then the reverse is a really fun, a striped pattern with different width stripes. Here is a sticker sheet. I have used a few for my samples, but it's um, sort of heavy on the f uh, flowers. There's some hearts, the little lanterns, some pennants. Um, again, I'm just showing you that they there are stickers, and then a little um, some sentiments on the bottom there. The coordinating cardstock, this one's a little bit different. There are only four colors, um, and you get three each of those colors. Okay, so let's take a look at the colors just to see um, how they all look together. And of course, these are classic 4th of July colors. You've got the um, white, sapphire, candy apple, and scarlet. And you get three of each of those. Now let's take a look at the Hello Darling embellishments. This set is a little bit unique because you get assorted red acrylic shapes and one sheet of coordinating navy paperboard die cuts. So you're getting both the die cuts and the acrylic shapes, which I think is uh, really unique. And um, some of them really kind of go together, so they layer together. So here um, are, is the paperboard, and you can really see how nice and uh, thin they are. Again, they're a little bit thicker than our cardstock, but not as thick as cardboard. Wanted to show you some of the designs. You've got some uh, a banner that says smile. Look at how thin those are. But when you put them on your layout, they really stand out. It does give them some depth, even though they're very, very thin. Now these are the red acrylic shapes. Again, these are really thin. Um, they're much thinner than our acrylic shapes we used to have. I think they're probably about one third as thick. Uh, look at that bow. So fun. Lots of different shapes there. This is a really nice um, set to get the digital art collection from because you've got those little starbursts, let's call them, and some nice sentiments. I love the layout. Um, 
And then look at the Hello Darling Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards, and you get um, 4 by 6 and 3 by 4 This is a sample layout that I created with the Hello Darling Collection. Um, you can see the stickers, you can see the acrylic shapes on there, and you can see the paperboard die cuts. Again, it's, it's adding a lot of texture to my um, page. And even though it's red, white, and blue, I don't really feel like that screams 4th of July. It might be patriotic, but it doesn't have to be 4th of July. Now this is the Hello Darling card making stamp set. This one does not come with thin cuts. And then we have the Hello Darling scrapbooking stamp set. And this one does come with or without thin cuts. And what's special about these is they are three layer stamps. So you have the base layer, the highlight layer, and then an outline layer. Again, base, highlight, and an outline layer. Three different layers. I have created a sample for you to look at, and here we go. But first, let's look at the actual stamps themselves. I did get it with the thin cuts because I love it to those to cut out the flower shapes. Here is a sample of the three layer uh, stamps. That was a small flower that I didn't use on the layout. So take a look. Um, I love the, there's some words. It says good times, home, sweet home, memories, traditions, best summer ever. A lot of really great um, words, some sentiments. And then look at the layout. I've layered some of those three layer florals and you can definitely see the three different um, layers, the background, the highlight, and then the outline. And then the home sweet home that I stamped in black with the little flower um, border there. I really recommend that set. And I did try and make it in the, the red, white, and blue theme, but I can really see that being used in a lot of different colors. Okay, this is a scrapbooking workshop kit. The Hello Darwin scrapbooking workshop kit um, comes with all of the materials you need to make the three coordinating 12 by 12 layouts. And they are two, um, two page layouts. You get the Hello Darwin paper pack and sticker sheet, the cardstock sheets, exclusive pattern paper sheets, exclusive die cut sheets, the Hello um, Darlin embellishments exclusive for this kit, and you can get it with or without the top loading memory protectors. There's also a Hello Darlin card making workshop kit. You get everything you need in this kit to create 16 cards for each of those four designs that you see on the left there. The kit um, contents are um, an exclusive B-size stamp set and the coordinating thin cuts. You get the Hello Darwin pattern paper sheets, some cardstock sheets, clear sparkles, and then you get the white cards and bases. Look at those um, thin cuts. You get the star, a little banner, and then a smaller star. Okay, every catalog has a mix-in set of papers. Um, the mix-in paper pack comes with six sheets, and you only get one each of those six double-sided designs. So you really have to choose which side you want to use, so you get one. So I really recommend getting two packs of this if you potentially want to use it as sort of background for any layouts. Or if you like both sides of some of the papers, you're, you're going to want to have two of them so you can use both sides. Now here they are. Um, you can tell that they go with um, all of the three collections that are in the kit. This first one is a pine color and has some words on it. And then the back side is a little plaid. This one, I, I don't even know what you would call this. It's kind of a textured material, um, toffee. This one looks like painted wood that's been scraped off. This one is really pretty, and you can see I've only got a little bit left because I've used a lot of it. It's kind of an overall pink design, and then the back side is a, a peachy kind of polka dots. This one has a seabrook sea green um, front and back, and then this one is like a harbor stripe on the front, and then a uh, plaid on the back. 
And then the last one, you see this overall, it's kind of a mink color. Um, and then the back has a mink set with different floral um, names and information about that. And this is sort of just a design page of all of the stamps and thin cuts that are um, in the back part of the catalog and some really great designs. I love that baseball hat. I love the flowers on the front of that card. Look at that happy birthday card with the beer and then the little hot air balloon. Look at that cute little bear, kind of a throwback bear, I think. Some uh, Tweety Birds, a bride, and some butterflies. Really, it's beautiful. Okay, this stamp set is called Best Bonus Stamp Set, and um, it's about parenthood, um, but it's about bonus parenthood. Bonus love, bonus support, bonus dad, bonus parent, not by blood, but by choice. Now, um, the one on the right are four different stamp set. Um, it's Kids with Paws, Our Mom stamp set, We Love Grandparents stamp set, and then Dad stamp set. And look at the cute layouts that were created with those stamps. This one, I just can't get enough of this one, and I, I don't know why I didn't purchase it before now. Um, it's called A Friend Like You stamp set, and it's got the little kitties. Okay, and this stamp set is called Turtley Awesome Stamp Set. Some really fun sentiments. I think this would be good for a turtle talk with crush pictures if you are a Disney fan. And I really like the color scheme that they did on those sample cards. Now this, this set here is one that I definitely had to get. Um, look at those fun hot air balloons. I really love it. There are a couple smaller stamp sets on the top. Your friendship is a blessing. And then the upside down umbrella with flowers coming out. And you can see they made the little smaller cards. And then um, the third stamp set is called Berry Special. You can get that with or without the thin cuts. And then the last one is the Hot Air Balloon Fest stamp set. And that one does come with or without the thin cuts. I recommend the thin cuts for this one, but it is one that you could potentially do without. You could cut all of these um, on your own if you want to. But there are some kind of specific um, thin cuts, especially the basket. Look at the elephant and the giraffe and the bunny one. Um, and you could put that in the basket. Um, see how the basket goes right there at the bottom of the balloons? So you could put the animals, you could put the flowers, or you could put the presents in the basket. Here is the sample that I created, and here I put the animals in the basket and made a welcome little one card. That's one of the sentiments. Another sentiment I created, this is something you can send to your friend. It's called, you're the best, and that's a sentiment that's in the banner. There's two other sentiments, um, let your dreams soar and happy birthday. Okay, this stamp set is called Brood for You. It does not come with a thin cut. Um, they made a really fun layout. That's a birthday layout. But I want to go back to the sample that was in the um, sort of that, that first intro page. Look how cute that birthday card is. They used the beer mugs to spell out happy. And then um, they stamp birthday underneath. The stamp set on the right is called Limited Edition, and this stamp set comes with or without the thin cuts. You will want the thin cuts for this one because you can cut out those fun uh, baseball hats. And what's fun about that thin cut is you can cut out so many different um, hats with different pattern papers to make different um, designs. This stamp set is called Always Near Stamp Set, and this is one that you want to have in your stash just in case. Um, what was once enjoyed and deeply loved, we can never lose for all that we love deeply becomes part of us. Always here for you today, tomorrow, every day. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near, still miss, still love, still very dear. I love their samples. And some really fun um, color schemes there with the lagoon and the nectarine. The same set on the right is called sounds like it hurts stamp set you can get this with or without the thin cuts but this is another one that you definitely want the thin cuts because why wouldn't you want to cut out those fun band-aids i love that set 
Okay, this um, stamp set is called Number Number Balloon Stamp and Thin Cuts. And then there's also the Future is Bright Stamp and Thin Cuts. Both of those you can get with just the stamps and not the thin cuts. They made a really cute, um, looks like a birthday layout and then a graduation card. It says Class of 23. So here's the stamp set. I want to show you the size of the numbers. These are some nice size numbers. And here they are. One, two, three, four, all the way up to nine and ten. And then there's a little, um, like, string for the balloons. So you can make these into balloons. And I did get it with the thin cuts. Here's my sample. I made this for Ellie's second birthday. Um, yes, it's in November, but I went ahead and made it anyway. So I made the two as a balloon and then two other balloons. And those balloons are just from the zero without stamping the inside part. Look at these beautiful cards. These are made with um, the bouquet stamp and thin cuts. So you can get um, that with or without the thin cuts. There's also stamp number two. It says, be who you are, do what you love, go where your heart leads you. And then look at this beautiful overall background stamp set. You can see the background stamp use in this particular card here. Look at that. It's a really beautiful background. And some nice sentiments. Congratulations. Thank you. Happy birthday. I love you. Thinking of you and with sympathy. Now this page has four different stamp sets. There's the Big Hug stamp set, the Happy Day stamp set, the Wishing You All the Things stamp set, and the Hello stamp set. And there's, their samples are so cute. I like Hugs from Me to You, and then that Hello There stamp is really beautiful. Hello, and then there. I love the different fonts, kind of mix and match there. Okay, the stamp set on the right is called Beautiful Bride Stamp Set, and you can get it with or without the thin cuts. I did choose to get it with the thin cuts to cut out the bride and the shoes and the rings and the cake and the floral bouquet. I want to show you really the size of the bride. This bride is a nice big size um, stamp. You uh, probably need a five by six inch stamp block. Look at the sentiments on here. It's save the day, beautiful bride to be on your wedding day and miss to misses. Here is the thin cut set. And again, like I said, I got it with a thin cut set. Here is a beautiful card I made um, with the stamp set. And you can see the bride takes up basically the whole front of the card. I'm trying to wiggle this around so you can see that on the inside layer, I did use some white shimmer paper. I don't know if you can tell, but it is glitter paper in there. I used the Miss and Mrs. stamp. And I even put some liquid pearls on the buttons on the back and also her sash I colored in um, the liquid pearls. And then on the inside, I stamped the Beautiful Bride-to-Be. So I used both the Miss and Mrs. and the Beautiful Bride-to-Be. But I wanted to show you that you can also use these on scrapbook layouts. Um, so there I used the floral bouquet and the ring. And you can see the ring, I put a layer of liquid glass to make it look like the diamond was shining. And I used the metallic gold markers on the wedding band. And then there is the cake and the set of shoes. I made this in anticipation of Michaela's wedding in uh, September. Now this one I bet is exciting to so many of you because it is um, a heritage theme stamp set. And there's actually two stamp sets here. The first one is called Ornamental Borders. It does not come with thin cuts. And then the second one is called Family Roots Stamp Set. And that one does come with or without the thin cuts. Wanted to show you a little bit of these close up where you can see what they look like. I've been working on some heritage pages myself, and so I did buy both of these sets. 
I'm going to show you the stamps um, close up. This first one is the Family Roots stamp set. It has some nice sentiments. Memories made here. Blessed. Digging up our roots. Family. The spinning image. And then um, it comes with some thin cuts. You can get it with the thin cuts if you want. Um, one of them makes that beautiful frame. And then this one is the ornamental borders. And I want to show you on the layouts where you can see the borders. You see that one sort of it looks like floral tiles. Here are some of these borders they use to outline the pictures to make it sort of like those old school frames. Um, there's a little scroll at the bottom and at the top. And then you can see that um, picture was also outlined with um, one of the borders. And here's my sample that I made. This is a good representation of the mix-ins. So I used um, all of the mix-ins there as a background. But what I want you to see is the detail on these stamps. Look at the detail on that camera. Um, there's light and dark. It's so amazing. And then the same thing with this um, watch. I was really amazed at how intricate um, those stamps. I did use a little scroll at the top. I used that little um, sort of border um, for the family banner. Okay, now this is something that's somewhat unique. It's called the Butterfly Slimline Embossing Folder and Stencils. So this one comes with an embossing folder plus two stencils that you can use to make these beautiful um, slimline card fronts. But if you remember back to the uh, intro page um, with the different stamp sets, they did use this on a regular A2 size card. So it doesn't have to be a, a slimline card. Here I want to take it out and show you um, what you get with this, with this uh, package. You get the embossing folder of those butterflies going up a slimline card. You've got um, some four bigger butterflies and then looks like seven um, smaller butterflies. And then you've, you have the um, stencil, the first stencil where you can color in the background of the butterflies. And then you have a detailed stencil on the top where you can make sort of the, the butterfly lines. So can you see how the detail um, goes over the uh, sort of basic background butterflies? And all of that is on top of the embossing folder. Okay, here is a sample that I made, hoping you can see. Look at how it's embossed. So it's raised. Those butterflies are raised from the panel. And I used some, uh, if I recall, I used ballerina um, on on those and then this one I was kind of going for a monarch butterfly look I'm not sure that I really captured that look but that is why um, I made them those colors because um, I wanted to make the monarch a um, butterfly look okay and now we are at the stamp of the month the April stamp of the month is called sweet tweets um, this is available April 1st or April 30th, so you can get that starting now. Um, and if you spend $50 on my website, you get it for $5. If you're one of my VIPs, you get that for free with a $50 purchase. There is a stamp set. It does not come with thin cuts. Here's a sample that I made um, using that. I got the little tweet, Tweety Birds and then one of the sentiments, just a note. And I did use... Um, and inside, um, it's called Slimline Thought Stamp Set. That was on the previous page. Let me go back and show you. I didn't want to tell you about it until that card because I used it on that card. This is the Slimline Thought Stamp Set. Thinking of you lots and lots. Okay, now let's look at the May Stamp of the Month. This one is called Little Stinkers, and it is so stinking cute. Look at those skunks. I love their samples. I love these skunks. Um, and these are so nice. They stamp so beautifully um, in, in the black. So here is my um, stamp set. And I made um, those two car sample cards. That one says, um, 
sometimes life just stinks. And then this one says stinking cute, where I did stamp the mushrooms in different colors on the back of that. Look how cute those are. I cannot wait till May. That set is available May 1st through May 31st. And then the last stamp of the month from the catalog is the June stamp of the month. And this is called Botanical Shadows. I am so looking forward to getting those. I have so many ideas in my mind. Um, I don't have it yet because um, we can only order two months um, in advance. And then um, as for every catalog in this year, we have the Change the World stamp set for Operation Smiles, where $7 uh, from that stamp set price goes to Operation Smiles. So there we have it, the Close to My Heart, April, June, 2023 catalog. Thanks for watching. If you like anything that you see, you can go to thecraftychemist.closetomyheart.com. Please find me on Facebook at Crafty Chemist Designs. I have a Facebook VIP group, The Crafty Chemist Presents CTMH. And then I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Crafty Chemist Designs. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.